Some of these cards I have, a, I have trouble with. Yeah. I mean, they're nice and sleek. Oh, wow. Oh, Congratulations. Okay. We hit the map. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the video. This is Chris from Full Combo Gaming, and this is FCG Game Table. We have an awesome video for you today. Andy is here. What's up guys, how's it going? Hope you're all doing well. We are battling it out. It's not gonna be a point system battle. It's gonna be a little different. Andy will explain that in a second. But, Paldea Evolved versus Lost Origins. We're doing another like hunt battle as well. This is so, also a rematch, it does match you. Yeah, I think, have we done this actual match? It feels like we have. I don't we know, might we, have. We've done a lot of mixed match, mixed match boxes. So. Yeah, this is very true. Um, but either way, we're looking for some SARs, some good hits, some cool stuff like that. And um, I guess whoever has the best card is yeah. what we're... Uh... Today we're just gonna do it. So whoever has the best card or the card that we're hunting for. Uh, what card are you chasing on from how they evolve? Oof. Um, I mean, I wouldn't mind the Iono, mm -hmm. but there's a, I mean, that's the really there's a lot cool of great one. cards. In the, that's the problem. It's like there's the Magikarp, the Raichu, the Iono. Um, there's a couple other. <clears throat> those I would I'd be fine with almost every illustration art, but yeah, these are also sets that are on the rise. Um, I would like to point out this is our fourth video involving Lost Origin. Yeah. Where we were chasing the Giratina, but we have not yet gotten it, so we would have been able to one by now true but, but where's the fun in that yeah so i mean i'm not even going to go for the guaranteed this time today i'm looking for the aerodactyl yeah it's really funny when you think about lost origin you think like giratina no one no one remembers that the aerodactyl is the other one in that set uh so that's really cool i i i like the aerodactyl art a little bit better it's cooler oh no ho oh, oh, is Yes, attacked. And today's mascot is Bulbasaur. Yep. Welcome, our guest star. Yep. <laughs> also, if um, I don't know why I was saying if. Uh, also, don't forget to hit that sub button, notification bell, so you can be notified whenever our videos go live. Hit that like button. Um, yep. and comment down below. Let us know what you're you're excited about in the upcoming world of Pokemon. Uh, also, small note, if you are into graded cards and or grading cards, uh, check out our previous video because in that video, we also went over our PSA um, potential haul. So we're like going over all the cards that we are submitting. shipping and submitting out to PSA to then do a video in the future revealing all of their grades. So if you're into that and you want to see what we're shipping off, go ahead and check the previous video out. Um, so that'll be fun. Yep. If, yeah, let's let's get started. We'll have some more announcements and more stuff to get us over later on. I mean, we'll chat while we open. Yeah, we'll chat while we open. Up about, so. But yeah, Lost Origin is also a set that's been on the rise. A lot of both Sword and Shield have actually been going up lately. Oh, you might have to do the pack trick. Yes, I will have to do that. Oh man, I have to give you a moment. I can just open my pack and chill. Um, <laughs> can I start off with the energy? Which is all good. Yeah, the sets have been going up on the rise lately. Uh, so, we thought might as well continue. See if we can get some really cool stuff before this stuff gets more expensive than the highest valuable cards in the set, which is kind of ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. And it's interesting because there's Paldea Vault has more cards in it right now that are worth a lot of money. There's nothing similar to like Lost Origins where it's, you know, the Giratina, but it kind of all adds up. I mean, give it a few years. I'm sure that Magic Card, Giratina, or and the other stuff is going to be just insane. Yeah. Ooh, Bennett. Oh, another double. We seem to hit our hits at the same time a lot. Yeah, very true. Very true. I will think the Bennett is the winner currently. Yeah, yeah. Moivern is, is okay, but Bennett Trainer Gallery is cooler. Yeah, it's going to be exciting to, to get these cards back that we're shipping shipping out to get graded from PSA. So I'm yeah, looking forward to doing that. First group of slabs. I've actually never really cared too much for graded cards, but 
Might be fun. <laughs> yeah, might you know, have a, have a couple here and there. I have not really been super into getting slabs as well, but it's kind of like, I don't know, it's growing on me. Just kind of looking into it. And yeah, I'm kind of late to the game, in a sense, to getting graded cards, but I think it's fun. Probably easier now that it's kind of like, I don't know, the hype is still there, but it's not the same hype that it used to be. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, also there's a lot of other cards worth grading too that's becoming popular. One Piece, Dragon Ball. Yep. I'm not sure if Digimon was. Um, I think some people grade Digimon cards. Ooh, great cool. Beast Star. Nice. Not what we're looking for, but a very cool card nonetheless. Yep. Aerodactyl is also a beast star in the set too, right? Uh, yes, but the alt art's the V. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Same with the Giratina. I'm pretty sure. Right, right, I think you're right. Yeah. Which is a little weird, I think. The V star is in the Crown Zeno set, or was that also just a V? Um, I don't think Ooh. so. Another double hit. Sweet. Sweet. I still think the Giratina beats out the. This is a girl. I mean, I know it's a full art trainer, but... Mm, I kind of agree. Also, if you guys didn't see last week's video, I got blown out completely in our ETV battle. Yeah, I... If you guys want to see my... See me get my butt kicked. <laughs> I mean, yeah, so was... sorry. It wasn't a point battle thing. We did sort of similar like what we're doing here, but, um... It was a three-round battle yeah. of three different ETVs. I mean, we opened some really cool stuff, though. Like, we did, yeah. And the product was cool. Check the fate, all the fate series. Yep. Man. I'm trying to think. I don't know. I would still think that Hidden Fates is, is my favorite still. I definitely agree. Maybe we can open some more in the future. Get that Umbreon and Charizard. Yeah. That should be fun. Also, the heat is pretty crazy in this area that we live in. It is... Alright. A Gudra V. And it's only getting hotter. Today is actually one of the nicer days of the week, thankfully. Yeah, yeah. It's supposed to be, I think, hot Wednesday. For sure, from what I've heard. It'll be hot next week. Oh, I'll mention this. We haven't really been talking about it. Um, I... I'm gonna be going. I'm gonna. Like the card. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna talk about that. We'll just cut it. It feels like the. I'm not sure if I'm moving at a different pace than you. Like, are the number of cards in the pack different? No, they should be the same. Ten additional game cards. Alright, so is my pace just different than yours? Because it seems like you're going through them a lot faster than me. Or you're hitting the foil. I guess there's two foils on your packs. But yeah, mine is, they, they, remember they changed the um the, the way it works. So, but it makes me feel, I have three foils. Yeah, but it makes me feel like my pacing is completely off. Because <laughs> I know, you should, be hitting a, yeah. <laughs> you should be hitting a normal card and I hit my first foil. Pseudo Udo. Oh, double spirit tomb though. I know, that's wild. There we go. So yeah, God, what's your guess's favorite sword and shield set? Aside from probably Loving Skies because that is everyone's favorite set. Yeah. Oof. I don't know. I mean, if I'm including specialty, then I like the Crown Zenith a lot. Yeah, Crown Zenith is cool. If I can't pick Evolving Skies, I don't know. I think I liked, I mean, Brilliant Stars was cool, mm -hmm. but I also think I liked Astral Radiance. Mm, I did like Brilliant Stars a lot. I wasn't a huge fan of Brilliant 
Astro Radiance, sadly. Like, it wasn't a bad set, but, like, I wouldn't put, probably put it in my top four. Yeah. Oh, you're just throwing it off. My en your energy's in the um, front. Like I'm not the doing the pack trick, so. Yeah, yeah, my energy's in the front while yours is at the end. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like it's actually just there. All right, psychic to electric. We could probably do a battle system that way. Where I mean, that's a lot of pack. We can do it for like a shorter pack thing where the we can do like a tight advantage on who wins at the end. Whether it's like the rare. Oh, true, yeah. Paraset. And your arch enemy. Pikachu! Oh, that's a really cool one. I don't think yeah, I ever actually saw the EX. Yeah, I don't remember opening that one. It's been a while. I even forgot it was in the set. That is nuts. Still discovering new cards. In a what, two year old set? One year old set? I know. Grab two cards once. Some of these cards I have, I have trouble with. Yeah. I mean, they're nice and sleek. Oh, wow. Oh, congratulations. Hey, we hit the magic card, baby! The end of the video, yeah, you see you guys. All right, well, it looks like <laughs> Giratina is dethroned. Oh, yes, first. Yeah, I'm gonna have to sleeve my. Oh, there we go. All right, well, we hit one of the cards we were hoping to look for. That is an amazing pull. Congratulations, man. That's awesome. All right, we got it's not the even an SIR. I know it's not even an SIR, it's just like the thing's over a hundred bucks. Which is bonkers. I'll put the energy to the end too. Just imagine. Okay, I'll put my energy back to the end. No, I don't. That was an unlucky code card, so. Okay, don't put the energy at the end. <laughs> I know, I saw I moved it back. I moved mine back. I was like, oh no. Manky. Excuse I'm just blown off because the magic card was pulled so early. And. Malabar. Oh, wow. Skeledurge Gold. Your box is on fire, sir. I know. I don't actually. Do you want to sleep with Um, no. No? I think we're supposed to sleep with it. It's a cool card. Sure. I don't think the gold skeleton is worth a whole lot. I think that the. It probably isn't, but at the same time, it's like. We should still give some respect to the gold card, right? That's true. Oh. Yeah. yeah, sorry, I was. Double. I beat you too. Yeah, double, double green. Oh, I like this Pikachu one really too. Cool. Yeah, that one's really cool. I think I have something. Oh, oh my god! Wow, that's freaking wild. Dude. That is insane. Well, poor Aerodactyl. Look at that bad boy. Oh man, we might have to make an addendum. Uh, this is one heck of a video. I mean, yeah, the we're gonna make an addendum to that video. Um, because you might want to grade that. I think I do. Yeah, let's um, thank you. Let's give you that. I'm so sorry, Magic. I mean, this is a wild video. We opened a Magic Carp and we got the oof. Well, I mean, okay. I didn't even, did I even open my next pack? I don't even know, man. I'm the video is over, everybody. <laughs> But yeah, also, I guess we'll be throwing in an off origin pack for our, our Yeah, I, that, we are not winning. <laughs> <laughs> we are not winning. Oh, man. That is insane. <laughs> yeah. V-star marker, oh no. <laughs> oh. That's really cool. Ooh, oh, you got that Pikachu. Pikachu. I mean, like... You're getting some good, um... Some of the really nice hits. Yeah. Galleries and the uh, regular. But wow, I think that's the best pull I've had And we're not even... Time. I know. And we're not even halfway done with the box yet. Yeah. I hope we still get some exciting stuff for you guys to watch. So. I know. Well, there's still my side. I think yeah. that... 
just because this is what I hate about what well, this was deep enough into the box that it's kind of it's cool because it's a good peak where you can start going down because it's downhill from here you're still going to open hopefully cool stuff right yeah but nothing's going to outweigh that my box this is up there but there's other stuff that's in the set. Rare. yeah so my box there still could be an apex I mean, you can still get the, what's it called? I don't know, just make your box really over the top. True, yeah. And there's still other illustration rares, because I've only opened one, and I'm pretty sure you get at least two. I think three is actually the number, isn't it? Really? Maybe it's three, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, thank you, I'm still, yeah, I'm still reeling over that. <laughs> Um, that's probably the, that's, that has to be the best card we've opened in general in a while. Yeah. If you think about it, like value wise and just like people seeking cards, like that's very sought after still. I think so too, yeah. I mean, we did pull an arts, art, the most, one of the more memorable pulls I remember. I remember pulling a gold arts, yes. Oh yeah, I remember that, that too. Really yeah, cool that was pretty cool. I mean, obviously, they're not on the same level, sadly, but the Gold yeah. Arceus was still a really awesome pull. I, again, Giratina is not the card I was shooting for. Maybe I'll pull the, pull the what's it called, Aerodactyl from here too. Just make this video over the top. That'd be a wild box. Is it possible to get two of the big pulls in the, in the I box? Don't, I don't think you can get two SIR, S, 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 SIRs in the box. Yeah. Oh wow! That is wow, you have a gold really cool Giratina. Too. Yeah. So you just get all the Giratinas. Yes, I did get three different Giratinas. Did you get the the, the V yet? You haven't gotten the V. Yeah, you did. You I got the V, a, the V a, star, a, and the gold. I, don't, I haven't gotten the. Oh yeah, this V. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now you need a regular V. Yes. That's a box. That is. This is making up for the last three that we. Pulled. I know. I know. I feel so. This actually like makes me feel so good because like I felt so bad. Just getting, like, between me getting just all the hits and also some of the times where it's like he, you've pulled an SAR, but it's not, like, yours. And that's half the box, though? Yeah, yeah, half the box. And this is why you open packs, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ignore the 400 misses that we've had up to now. I know, yeah, yeah, ignore this. <laughs> oh, so bad. How many... That's like what our third Lost Origin box? Yeah. Oh, fourth one. This is our fourth, I think. Our fourth one, yeah. And I will say, luckily, previously, they, they did go up a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, recently, they've gone up a little bit, but not by much. So, but yeah, we've pretty much spent about the amount of money to get one of those. So, yeah. I mean, hey, it's cash, cashing in. And I need to catch up. Oh, I'll start behind. Gotta see these cards. Oh, that's really cool. I love how, like, they're very similar in like they do match. Like they're very matching in their in their energy, where it's like dark background. It's not the same artist, is it? Um, I don't know. Poster so, with Shinji Kondo. Yeah, Shinji Kondo, same oh, artist. Oh wow! Same artist. Maybe that's why the that art video is so amazing today. I know the Magikarp. The Magikarp evolved into the Giratina. Man, I need to capture puzzles. I know, I know, I know, I'm so... Okay. All right. That's actually... It's nice to get, to get a hit like that every yeah. once in a while. Like, it's like, oh, it's like, oh, I'm not getting anything. And all of a sudden, it's like, here's the day. Oh, that Giratina is cool. It's nice opening, too, because that's one that I haven't opened. It's still also one of the cards that, like, I wouldn't mind getting my hands on it just to have it, but I also have other cards that I'd rather spend money on right now. I completely agree. I mean, to be fair, it is really up there in price. Oh, it is. It's still also used in a deck, too, right? So maybe that's one of the reasons? Um, unfortunately, no, I don't think so, just because it is Giratina. I think if it was another Pokemon, I think it being used in a deck would also affect its price. Mm -hmm. um, 
but I think because it's Giratina and people really love that art, that's the reason. Because like Raging Bolt, the SAR for Raging Bolt went up in price yeah. because it was in a deck. And that's it. Because it used to be a $60 card, like a $50 card. And then all of a sudden, it went up to 100 after a weekend. Yeah. Um, oh. Not the Frigibacks I need. I need Artibacks. Okay. Oh, Kudra Tagumi. Nice. Nice. God, if I could have opened an Artibacks, I would have been great. Because that's the only Paldean Evolved um, illustration art that I'm actually like missing. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of hard to compare with what you've already gotten. You got I know, true. Yeah, I got the magic card, so it's it's cool. I mean, we're chill, but. And you probably have one more art rare, I think, left. Yeah. And hopefully an SIR. Hopefully, yeah. I'd like to get an SA SIR. Oh, nice. It's hmm. It's the. It's weird that they it's have two cards different of ones. The, okay. Yeah, two different cards of the same name. It's that really throws you off. I was like, why does my shroud look weird? They're two different. Like I don't get it. I thought it was an evolution. Yeah. Does it? I don't know that Pokemon. Before, to be I, I I don't know it either. It got me almost doing the pack trick. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I think it's nice not having to do the pack trick anymore. Same. Same. But I wonder if there's like a danger of ruining the card more because it's near the end. Yeah. Ooh, full nice. art of Lycan Rock EX. You hear it? Again, hits at the same time. I know. So I think there's only one other Giratina I'm missing, actually. Rainbow? Oh yeah, I think no, I don't think they don't. Mm, I think, I think they stopped doing rain. Yeah, they might be a rainbow. No, because there's a gold. I mean, you don't have the regular V either. Yeah, yeah. yeah. At least you didn't open it. I think we opened it. I think we opened it during our other yeah. boxes. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, sun scorch. Oh, cool. You got one of the um nice. the gallery arts. It's a yeah. Yeah. Sadly, it's one I already have, though. I do like the fact that he's, like, running on a Santa Scorch. Yeah. If any of you watch One, Pe or One Punch Man, it also reminds me of Elder Centipede. <laughs> one of the villains. Um, I'll, I'll let you catch up. I, I showed a card! There we go. Boy, Coco skipped me. Lithic. I do like the Lithic line, too. With I like a lot of the ghost lines, it seems. I feel. Ooh, Radiant Gardevoir. Nice. And, oh. Oh, wow. Book, Fortune I like that one in Hyper Rare, to be honest. It That's does one of my it. favorites. I'm hit or miss on the trainer cards in Hyper Rare. The Misfortune Sisters is one of them. Mm -hmm. God. So. This is one of the That's a box. You're, that's a loaded box. That, the gold, and the, the, the Hyper Rare. Like, that is real cool. Yo, can I get an SIR, please? I mean, we still have a quarter of the box left. I'm pretty sure my box is tapped out, though. Yours might be, yeah. Remember to hit that like button for the extra 10% luck from this, this video. I know. It'll get you there. Also, if you do pull something amazing, do let us know. We are also on social media. We have threads, Instagram, and Twitter. Next. Yep. If you prefer. Or a book. And a minute. Yeah, tag us on your polls. Like we do shorts too. We, I think we've been hitting a kind of a dry streak on our shorts as well. But what you gonna do? Yeah. It's all good. Cause we got a Giratina. And a magic heart. And a magic heart. Maybe it's because it's done by the same artist too. Maybe we should like figure out the ones with the pockets. Just match them with the artists. True. That might be a thing. Yeah. That's also like really wild that that kind of like. It just feels like, and I don't know, but it just feels like the universe decided to align. Yeah. And the Magikarp <laughs> just brought forth the Giratina. Honestly, it would cool if we did this on July 4th. <laughs> I'm thinking it's just like a holiday thing. I know, yeah. 
I mean, it's American holiday, true, but yes, we are in America. We will celebrate American holidays. I'm super, I'm like ecstatic. It's probably the, we've had a lot of fun opening videos over the, over the, the, the time that we've been doing this, but this one's probably one of, one of the most hype moments Oh yeah, definitely. That I, I can think of. We, we've had hype moments in the past. Oh yeah, we've had God Pass open. Yeah, we've but had... this is just... Actually, we've had some inter amazing ones where we had God Pack, so like, amazing pulls at the very end. Kind of just... Wow. Well, I got my SAR. Two full art trainers at the same time. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cool. You got a full art cool resin experiment? Yeah. Your box is so loaded! I, what is going on here? Like... Like, yeah, who cares about a point system? I mean, like, but... None of our other boxes have been this good. What no, is no. going on? No, it's, it's weird. But I got, I got my SIR. SIR. My SIR. It's a Seguro. I do already have this one, but it's really cool. I mean, SIR trainer's always fun. Yeah. Not the Iono. So, sad on that, but it's fine. Because I, I do like it, getting four trainers. Same here. But yeah, do you guys collect anything in particular? Like, I would love to collect more amazing rares if they print more. That'd be a lot of fun. I wish they printed more than the than the ones that we got. I, I thought that it was just I mean, such a short run because there was only two sets that had amazing rares in. Yeah, yeah. Like, is there no reason why they can't go back to doing them? They could. They okay. typically don't do that though. Um, like they're not shiny, so they're not the radiant. There's no reason not to be able to put them into the current true sword and shield set. I feel. Yeah. So I mean, someone called Nintendo up to say, "Hey, where's the radiant rares? <laughs> or amazing rares?" I know. I mean, to be fair, it was also really cool to be able to pull like random shiny rare Pokemon in like the middle of the random sets too. Yeah. It did affect the hit rates for sure. Oh, it'd be cool oh, to see yeah. the. Well, yeah, because you they they counted as extra hits. Okay. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I don't think that would affect the uh, what's it called newer sets too much because no, <laughs> it could take the ace rare spot, you know. Yeah, yeah. Let me catch up again. And who knows what they're gonna do? Ooh, ooh, bottom. And who knows what they're gonna do after the ace specs? That's true. Mm. Because we don't know if the next Japanese... Well, we, okay, so the Japanese set that just came out has A specs in it. But we don't know if the next set that comes out in July is going to have A specs in it. So they could be done with A specs because the last time they did A specs, it was only in three different sets. How long ago was it? Do you remember? Um, it was black and white era, but it was the plasma set. So it's plasma, blast, freeze, and storm. Uh, okay. So yeah, maybe like there's a... Pure cycle or something. <laughs> wow, how long ago? Um, it was a long time ago. Cause so we're talking 2016 was X Y Evolutions. Mm -hmm. So that was probably 20 2010, 2012 ish. I'm gonna think. I'd have to like go look for the actual date, but I think we're looking like that time period. Well, actually, 2016, 2015, 2014. Yeah, correct us down in the comments so, below. Let us know. Yeah, guys, probably 2012, 2013. You guys have, ooh, look, radiant. I think it's two radiants per box, right? Give or take. Yeah. But yeah, you guys have access to the internet. If you don't, let us know in the comments below. Yeah, at least while we're doing this. Two packs left. Two packs left. Let's see some last pack magic. It'll be amazing. But it's kind of hard to be hopeful with what we have. I know. And I well, I mean, I thought your box was just going. I mean, your box went downhill after the Giratina still. But we still. But it close. slowly went downhill. Like mine just went. Yeah, it didn't drop. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, cards. Hmm. I don't remember that one to be honest. The favorites and the nets. All right. 
All right, let's have some, want to switch packs? Last pack magic? Sure, let's do it. Let's do it. We know that you've already won. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I said I would win if I went, pulled the Aerodactyl. I think you said you would win if you pulled the magic card, so you might have actually won on a technicality. True, but I think the Giratina just stumps all of that, to be honest. I don't think you have magic anymore. Yeah, you don't, yeah. I had to. Yep. I was like, oh. That's I'm why gonna... I wanted to switch. My master plan. <laughs> Sorry, that was an Aerodactyl. Uh, I'd be very angry. <laughs> I'd be very sad. That means you won twice over in one match. <laughs> True. No, All right. no, nothing. All right. Yep. Well, this was an ex this was exciting. Yeah, this was a pretty amazing opening. I hope you guys were here to enjoy it with us. And yeah, let us know more about this stuff that you'd like to see from us, like more rock battles. We'll probably do a more appropriate point system. To be fair, again. I got oh, both Saguaros. I just realized that. Nice. But the Magikarp and the Giratina. Yep, those are the So beautiful. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So awesome. Again, if you guys like graded cards and want to know what our um, haul is, is going to potentially look like, like what cards we're going to be sending in, um, check out the previous video. I think that we are going to have to make an addendum to that because we haven't. As of this video recording, we have not shipped it out yet. And I think that these are probably gonna get added onto that, to yes. be fair, because these are really cool and I, I don't see why not to grade them. So that's probably what's gonna happen, but check out the rest of the cards in the haul. Um, so previous video, the one we did on July 4th, check that one out to see what else we're sending in to get graded. And then um, really later cool. on, Later on, we're going to be showing and revealing the grades in a video, which will be fun because we're not going to look. We're going to be surprised at the same time what the grades are. So that's going to be really fun. Stay tuned for that. Hit the sub button. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell. Let your friends know. Let everybody know. Thanks for hanging out with us. Don't forget also, um, if you want to support more than just the sub button, um, you can check out our coffee page. So the link will be down below for that as well. Um, and yeah, uh, last thing I'll say is this video is going up and gonna be live. I'm gonna be at Collecticon when this video is, is live. So look forward to some social media stuff if you haven't seen it already. Uh, hopefully gonna be getting some cool stuff to open. Thanks everybody. Anything else you wanna add before we- uh... Uh, No, stay cool, stay hydrated and- Oh yeah, yeah. Open some awesome packs out there, you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, awesome. Uh, all right. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. Peace.